In order to start analyzing, we first need to uh, import some data, and that is done using the load uh, data button uh, down here. And we have to use CDF data. So you have to export your data as CDF files. Let me show you an example of some data. Here we have some data exported to CDF from ChemStation. And I will just uh, load some of them. It's going to do an import and it's going to take a little while. If you have problems with the import, if it seems that nothing is happening, uh, go to the home page and check our little frequently asked uh, questions. Uh, there you will get some information. Yeah. Once you import your data, it's time to visualize it. And this you can do from the inspect data menu here. And here you can see the, all the buttons which is familiar to you. So it's almost the same as if you would look at your data using ordinary uh, <coughs> chromatographic software like ChemStation. So one thing you would like to do is zoom. You can do it by pressing a zoom button and then zoom in the region you are interested in. At the same time you can actually select the samples. You can select uh, as many samples as you like and you can do extracted ion chromatography on all of those. For example now I do extracted ion chromatogram of 150 and you can see there is nothing in this region. So if you want to go back to the total ion chromatogram you can just press tick and rescale so you can do in the same way you can look at the mass spectra for instance in this case I want to look at the uh, mass spectrum of the peak around 12 minutes so in order to do that you need to press a button called view spectra and then you just need to press on top of the peak so this will result you in a separate window where you can see the mass spectra of this peak for all three samples that you have selected. And from here you can actually search if this mass spectra corresponds to some metabolite or some chemical. And that you can do by pressing lookup in NIST. And this will ask you to fold, uh, to direct you into the uh, project folder. Okay. Let me help you on that one. Let's skip this. No, you cannot skip this. You actually have to select your folder. Yes. I have a folder here. So this is my project folder where I will keep my results. And then we also need to define where NIST is and it is typically installed in the root of C so you have to uh, verify where that is but I happen to know that it is here it's a demo and the file is in this folder and now we're able to look up so once you selected your project folder and defined where the NIST uh, MS search is located in your PC, you, you will automatically see a NIST window opened. And here you can see that you open now the spectra that you were interested in. So that is corresponding to the uh, peak at 12.21 minutes for sample 1, sample 2 and sample 3. And the rest is known to you how to annotate the pics from the NIST so you will have to uh, read the manual of the NIST uh, in order to make sure that your pic is, uh, is the right one that you are searching for so now we go back to the uh, paradise and you can actually close the window in this way and rescale it and you will go back to the original chromatogram